This is a new product announcement from the PLC eUniversity. And this new product is a Universal Controller I.O. Lab Station Stand. This all started with coming up with the least expensive yet reasonable quality to learn how to program a PLC. And that evolved into the complete PLC Learn series, which is a lab manual with lab projects for all 70 plus instructions supported by the firmware in the Micrologix 1000. The Micrologix 1000 10 point was the least expensive processor. There is free software MicroStarter Lite, RS Lynx Lite, that you can use to communicate with and program a Micrologix 1000. When RS Logix 5000 came along, that became a more expensive proposition because the hardware is more expensive and the software is much more expensive. There are no free versions of RS Logix 5000 that will allow you to write a program, download the program, test it, or upload the program. You could take the least expensive processor that you see right in front of you, that's an L31. We picked processors that you could program with releases 17 through 20. What you see in front of you, the L31 processor, PA2 power supply, plain, and then you have an I.O. card. You could just lay that on the table and then take your I.O. simulator right below it, make your own switches and lights, and you can have at it, learning to program RS Logix 5000. A more secure way of handling your hardware, that's what we developed this lab station stand for. It's made out of high quality black anodized aluminum extrusion, Space for mounting the controller and I.O. is 12 inches wide, 7 and a quarter inches tall. It will definitely accept Slick 500. You would have to remove that DIN rail. All Micrologics will snap right onto this DIN rail. The 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,400, and 1,500. All Compact Logics will snap on there. Control Logics will fit on there. And almost any controller from any manufacturer. This lab station stand is universal in the sense that it should accept 90 percent of all controllers out there very stable it's very difficult to tip over there are four rubber pads one in each corner that prevent scuff and sliding there's two din rails an eight inch vertical din rail you can loosen and slide that to a new position anywhere in that space below and then the 12 inch length horizontal din rail and then you have relocatable field device simulator mounting slide nuts. The vertical frame will accept horizontal DIN rails. Also, the vertical frame, dual vertical locations, the back plate of the frame. The vertical frame, it is mounted four inches from the rear of the base. There's another set of holes further towards the center. You can mount it there, or you can move it forward another roughly two inches but even with the hardware mounted on this, you really have to work to try to tip one over. This is the least expensive processor, power supply, I.O. module, right end cap. The same hardware with another module added. The combination analog I.O. module, four inputs and two outputs. This is a Micrologix 1400 with a 24 volt DC power supply, the digital field device simulator, and some other things mounted to the DIN rail. You see the DIN rail is repositionable, relocatable. We have a Micrologix 1100, a 1200, and a power supply. Okay, these are available in the PLC University bookstore at www.plcprofessor.com. Thank you for allowing us to introduce to you another product from the PLC eUniversity.